Hey y'all, it's Old Country, and I just thought we might as well do a little bit of a breakdown of the new Planet Zoo Twilight Pack announcement trailer. Uh, that was one heck of a reveal, but I did want to kind of just go through this trailer and kind of just see what we can find. Maybe get hyped about some of the new stuff, because I know some people right now are a little um, more on the controversial side about this, because it is very Halloween-themed, but I think there are a lot of things in this uh, pack that aren't necessarily going to be just Halloween-themed, and I think we can get a lot of universal use out of this pack, and I kind of just want to highlight some of the stuff, and just because, you know, it may be one of my favorite packs, because I've been wanting a Halloween pack in Planet Zoo since, like, the launch of the game. Um, I know it's not for everybody, so I just maybe I can give some people a little more excitement here by just kind of breaking everything down and kind of relaxing here, getting a little bit of the initial hype down uh, and just seeing what we can find. So I thought this would just be a new kind of fun little video, and I'm trying to find uh, um, playback speed on this. Hold on. All right. Playback speed is good. Let's see what we can find here. All right. Right off the bat. Bat, no pun intended. We have our new, these new kind of dead, twisty trees here. We have a new lantern for sure. New fences, which are really cool. This is all universally new stuff. And we have new, the new leaf litter. Leaf litter is going to be huge. These twisty trees are also going to be huge. I'm just going to call them twisty trees for now. Um, and also, we have these new flowers here. And um, any new flower, any new piece of foliage is automatically useful, in my opinion, to some degree keep going uh yeah so these seem to be maybe the same i'm not sure we have new vines it looks like these are definitely new vines but we have see yellow ones here um these might be the same these are purple and then we have uh white ones here so these could all be different flowers or they could be flexi color flowers i'm not sure uh let's keep going uh, we had the falling leaf effects uh, before this. We have more twisty variations of the twisty trees. All right, let's look at this. Uh, these seem to be rocks we already have in game. I'm guessing these are just scattered foe. Uh, this could be a new variation of the like more whatever null dirt path or whatever with the uh, natural markers. It could be a new variation. We've already seen fog. We just have a better look at these twisty trees, which is, they're really cool. These trees are some of the best trees we have seen in game, just because of how their branches are, just because of how the trunks are. And I can't wait to see how the raccoons and everything climb these trees, and especially some of the current day, uh, current animals in game, like the uh, Binturong. And let's hope these, the leaf litter on the ground is also flexi color, because that would be amazing. Yeah, but uh, anyways, yeah, there's the raccoon just running past us. The flowers again. Uh, okay, we have our biggest look at some of the scenery here. And honestly, it is very Halloween. We have our very Halloween style spider web tables here. We have mushroom lights, which, you know, you know, in a cauldron, Halloween spider benches. Uh, gargoyles and stuff. Obviously, that is where it's like the Arctic pack and the Arctic pack gave us some uh, more Christmas themed items. This um, Twilight pack is going to give us, of course, some of our um, Halloween themed items. But if you kind of look at some of the other stuff, the pathing is very universal. This is the pathing we saw in the stay hydrated post from Planet Zoo. And this is something that I think is going to be very, very universal, and it could be used in almost any situation just because of the level of detail in this, and this path is outstanding. Let's take a look at, uh, we, first off, we have some jack-o'-lanterns here, which jack-o'-lanterns are going to be awesome for theming as well. We have some really cool new, I think, wooden fence posts. This, this looks wooden because this um, new sign here is also wooden. And the animal signs we'll get to a little bit later are also very heavily themed off of uh, more of the aquatic style and uh, more of the, the Malayan tapir kind of style of signs and the wetland style, uh, which is very cool, keeping it realistic. And let's take a look now at what we have here. This is our new building set, which looks like it could be... A, this could be a new variation of plaster or it could be some sort of drywall um, kind of material. It, I think it is going to be a new material. I don't think it's just going to be plaster. But the thing that catches my eye is the new stone. This seems to be a little darker than this, which makes me think the new stone walls, similar to the European ones, a little, th these are a little more formal because they're more square shaped. 
These could be flexi color, just like the European ones, which really catches my eye. We also have, I believe this is just Virginia Creeper, but we might be getting a new variation of vines like we saw earlier that I was discussing uh, that are more green. It's like a green version of the Virginia Creeper, or they might as well just make the Virginia Creeper potentially flexi color, which would be awesome. But this could be a, ver a new version of that vine. These pine trees we've seen before, but it doesn't make me doubt that we might not get new pine trees. I, I would probably think we would get a new pine tree in this pack. Um, more of the twisty trees, which are just, if these are climbable, these are going to be like supremely used in this game. I kid you not. Uh, just, yeah, I think they are. I, they're just so good for decorations and we have more of the, dr the dead drin grass here, which is really, really cool. More of these new stone pieces. Uh, we have, an, we have two different sets, I believe of different uh, styles of roofing. This seems to be more of a wooden one. Well, this seems to be a, a, a more brick roof. Knowing Planet Zoo, it is probably going to be flexi color, which is very nice. Uh, just some of the new wooden pieces, kind of like more rotting, more worn and used wood pieces are also really cool. It helps add to the realism, helps kind of tell a story that, you know, they're aged, you know, aged pieces of wood. Not everything's brand new, which is really cool. And these stairs could be the, the South America temple pieces, but knowing that this is going to be 200 plus pieces of new scenery, I'm leaning towards the fact that it's going to be new stone, individual stone pieces for the Twilight Pack to get into the Halloween theming. So I believe I've covered almost everything. You know, just we, uh, we've we seen, these might be new lights and all. We know we have these new stone uh, columns. Uh, these, I think it's all going to be a part of this new stone set that we have been seeing here, here, here. Um, everything is going to be very universal in this pack, I do believe, if people give it a chance, if people open up their imaginations. Um, obviously, like I said, some of the th like the Halloween thing things, like the mushrooms or, you know, the spider tables, spider benches, cauldrons, I, I obviously, the, you know, jack-o'-lanterns, those are going to be very, you know, ha only used in Halloween builds or Halloween uh, areas, but... In terms of the majority of what we see here, I think we're going to uh, really have universal use out of a lot of this stuff in the pack. And even the lanterns, uh, they, they're Halloween themed, yes, but they also, as we, we can also see here, I believe there's a new torch light uh, right here, a new torch light. Torch lights are very important. Um, you see those in zoos a lot, uh, kind of like tiki torches that we already have in the game of South America and uh, Arctic pack. This is just a new style, and I think that is also something that could be universally used. Uh, for us in game when building in different sections and this is obviously the wombat enclosure this is the skunk enclosure just looking yeah at a more zoomed out version of this yeah it, it really gives a better look and we now see a better look at some of the new stuff that's coming in game this looks to be a baby skunk right here this new fencing I'm I I really like this look I think is this sh new sheet metal pieces hopefully they're individual and custom built because this is just the mesh in game. I'm not a fan of the pillars here, but obviously if this is individually built, we get these pieces as, as individuals. These metal pieces, hopefully flexi color, are going to be very, very reusable. And like I said, you know, this might be a new pine tree as well. I'm not sure. It could just be the Scots pine or something like that. But this looks to be new. This is definitely, I got to say, this is a new pine. I think this is a new pine and they look absolutely gorgeous, honestly. And, you know, the new leaf litter is also amazing. I have been asking for leaf litter since before the launch of the game. Leaf litter is vital in zoos. It is vital in habitats. We had it in the exhibit systems. It's vital in exhibit systems. It's part of the bioactivity of the real world. Leaf litter is what breaks the, it break. It's part of the breakdown process for microorganisms and things like isopods and stuff like that. It is vitally important. It's realistic and we're finally getting it. And I couldn't be happier. And all these new flowers, I think they're flexible color which is a big win after some of the conservation pack flowers were not uh flexi color so this is a very big win for these flowers to be flexi color they're going to come in hand you can make them vine you can make them grow higher you can just use them randomly flowers flexi color flowers are always just a super nice touch and yes this is a new pine i'm looking at the bark now 100 a new pine and it looks amazing um 
And we also see the cauldron here and stuff, which, like I said, ha very Halloween themed. We have, I think this is a new log or new... Okay, so this is what I was saying about the, the new animal signs in game with the skunk. This is very, like, Malayan Tapir-esque. That same style as, like, Malayan Tapir, um, Aquatic Pack, um, Wetlands Pack, uh, Conservation. This is that same style that the community has kind of narrowed down to and said... If you're going to have signs, this is the new style we want. And it seems like they're going to keep continuing with that. And that is just awesome. It's amazing. And we also see a new look at some new vines in game, which are really cool. And I believe these are just faux rocks, but we will be getting new rocks later, um, possibly into this trailer. I know that on the forums, they revealed the new cave rocks, which are really, really cool. But yeah, the new sign is just killer. Um, I, so here we get a better look at the new stones, the new stone wall pieces, hopefully flexi color. I am fingers crossed that it's flexi color because that will be another very universally used uh, piece. It looks like these are, these could be the, the, the temple pieces from South America. I'm leaning towards probably not. But, uh, hey, you never know. It, it could be anything. And these new... I, I do like these new metal, uh, more classic-feeling um, fence pieces. I think these could be, depending on the situation, universally used. And also candles. I believe these are new candles as well, which are really cool. Candles can come in handy in uh, a multitude of indoor uh, buildings and restaurants and stuff in your zoos. But this is a new look at the gargoyle. Um, yeah, like I said, obviously, you know, it is the tw Twilight Pack. It's very, ha it's Halloween centric. So there's going to be like the Arctic Pack. There's going to be a lot of Halloween based items. And if you don't like it, it's probably something you're going to have to get over. But something I just noticed now is this new upside down bat statue, which is really cool. And this could be universally used with our new bat exhibit animals and the new large walkthrough exhibits, which is going to be something we will talk about later. But also we see some more pointy, uh, new stone pointy kind of fence pieces right here, which is very interesting. So I wonder, and this looks like it could be used as an individual piece perhaps, and also uh, a variation on a new rock. While these are just, I believe, the temperate rocks, um, this could be a new kind of faux rock fence that could be individually broken down perhaps. So we'll have to see um, what we uh what we get in the pack when it comes out, but we can also spot a little bitty common. I think it was the common wombat, which is really cool. Uh, as we go forward, this guy's taking a picture. Um, as we can see a better look at some of the stone, uh, here we just see a new look at the, the twisty trees. This is also a brand new tree. I do not recognize this and the trees in this pack already are looking so good. Um, as like I said, these also do not look like faux the faux rocks, the faux pebbles in game. They could be custom with the smaller ones they added, but it would be really cool if they added new faux pieces, new smaller faux rocks in game. Or this could just be a part of the new kind of that new natural pathing border. We don't know. We see more leaf litter, which is cool. But yeah, everything is looking great so far. This this uh, shot doesn't really reveal too much. The new pine, a new tree, which the trees, like I said, look really good. All right, we have new animal signs, kind of more spooky, kind of offset, uh, off-putting animal signs. I really like the new trees because of how they, the branches kind of overhang into each other, and it creates this new kind of look to give you uh, the option to create this like almost like for like covered forest where the trees are actually you know over top of you and you get this like cool little pathway inside a forest which can be used not just in the halloween setting but in a more temperate zoo setting as well if you want to have like this more covered forest uh section of your zoo and have guests walk through this little you know path this spooky path of a forest which could be like i said universally used and i do believe that these could be new pebble pieces like I said, it could be just part of the path, but these do look like new flexi color pe pebble pieces that we could be getting some use out of in game, which would be really cool. But otherwise, we just have our normal drin grass here, uh, the flexi color flowers again. And like I said, we have these new and these more off putting Halloween statues, kind of like in the conservation pack. We got those big statues. It it's, you know, bound to happen in a scenery pack that we get statues that kind of represent 
the uh, the theme of the pack as well. And these are already, I think, better than the conservation ones, just because they're a lot smaller. And I think people could get some universal use out of these, which are really cool. But the dead trees, I am just really digging. We got a better look at some of the vines here. Um, this is a new gargoyle for the fox, for the red fox, which is a really cool animal that I believe was top 20. It was number 20 on the meta. So, um, people, we are getting some meta wishlist animals, uh, out of this. The raccoon's in the 30s. The wombat was number 10. So there's our top 10 animal for this pack. Um, yeah, these are rocks we've seen. Um, I believe this is all stuff we've seen. Like I said, some of the pines, fence, we've seen the dead trees, we have seen the, the new flexi color flowers, which are really cool. And then it lights up into these really cool eye, like I said, Halloween themed things, but these really cool eye uh, glowing signs, which are just for Halloween lovers. This is this is a pack to die for. This is the spooky pack of Planet Zoo, and it is just amazing. And we also have some pumpkins that may be from conservation, but they could be more styles of pumpkins we haven't seen before. Um, I haven't seen any new enrichment items per se yet, but we just, we get a better look at some of the stone, new stone pieces. I believe these are new stone. I don't think they're going to be the, uh, South America stones. I believe they're going to be brand new. Uh, and we're just seeing, you know, some of the more dead trees, a lot of more foliage pop up again. I'm going to kind of skip through this. Like I said, the gargoyle. Um, this is the, the grass, uh, terrain tool. And then we see the drain grass and all that good stuff. This is what I'm really interested in. All right. These are the new cave rocks. And these are going to be, if these are going to be used in many different ways, just, you got to think outside the box with these. If you're, if you're a rock creator, if you like creating natural rock formations, these can be used for a multitude of things outside of just building caves. And here's, uh, our building set again. We went over that. But it, the leaf litter is just looking so good. I, I love the leaf litter. I can only hope it's flexi color. But look at, look here. I believe these could be desert rocks or these could be new rocks, hopefully flexi color. Uh, and if we turn these upside down, so if we don't want this, hopefully we have more rocks that aren't just stalactites and stalagmites. Hopefully we have versions of the rocks that are just like this without the stalactites and stalagmites. And I think this would be just... These are the first, also, these are the first rocks we're getting, I believe, since Aquatic Pack, which is also, no matter what they are, no matter if they're, you know, if we can remove the stalactites and stalagmites, it's going to be universal and it's going to be supremely used. I don't know what where I've come up with the whole, this is going to be supremely used thing, but I, I kind of like it. It's like, this is supreme guy. No, I think for sure we're going to get different variations of the rocks without the, um, these stalactites and stalagmites in them. I, I just, I think it'd be silly if we didn't. And um, even then, like I said, the stalactites and stalagmites are going to be used. If we have individual pieces like this, they're going to be used in creating different formations within color formations within the rocks, like almost adding layers. You just got to think outside the box with, with these rocks. And if you really like rocks, I think these are going to be really cool pieces for us to use. And here's another image of a raccoon, but we're going to see new pieces of foliage here real quick. Um, right here, this is a new piece of foliage. It's kind of uh, blending in with the nettle pieces or the nettle foliage in game. But everything else, we saw this tree earlier. The raccoon fur shading is gorgeous. So I do believe, I don't think the raccoon is getting a new rig. I think it's using the beaver to an extent without the deep diving, of course. The raccoon, it it looks like, it very much looks like the same kind of fur shading um, techniques that he used with the beaver. And some of its hand animations do remind me of some beaver stuff. So it's very possible they use the beaver for that. But here's a new look at um, some of the new pebble pieces. I believe they're going to be, I don't, these are definitely not the aquatic pebble pieces. They're too small and we can confirm here they're not part of the pathing. So that is guaranteed new rocks here, which is an absolute win. Like I said, we haven't had rocks since the aquatic pack. And we also, like I said, we have these new pieces, uh, these new foliage pieces right here that are blending in with the nettle that look just really good. This tree right here is awesome. Imagine using this with like a sun bear setup or the new raccoons or the binturong and just having them climb all over this tree. That would be so cool. Imagine if we get a dead tree enrichment item that they could sleep in. I It would be to die for. But like I said, the raccoon here... Doesn't this remind you a little bit of the beaver where it sits down and starts kind of messing with the tans a little bit? 
I mean, the raccoon, it's not, it wasn't a top pick of mine, but the more I see it, the more I'm growing to love it. And I, I think the animals I am appreciating more just because I am such a sucker for Halloween and they just, they work so well with this Halloween pack that I am appreciating them tenfold than, than what I did yesterday. But this is just, this is amazing. This pack is amazing. We see a bunch of new flexi versions of the flexi color flowers. Hopefully flexi color. They could just be the same flowers with a few different colors. I don't know why they would do that. I think they're going to be flexi color. But this is just this he this sneaky boy right here. He's he's uh he's like you just wait till we get your hands on this new Twilight pack. And that is the end of the trailer, the little teaser trailer, uh, announcement trailer for the Planet Zoo Twilight pack. Uh, this is coming out on October 18th. Make sure you add it to your Steam wish list and all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to this channel for more updates because I do believe we I'm going to make a video on breaking down how I can I think this new bat exhibit system is gonna work so I think that's gonna be really cool I'm gonna talk about you know the future of what that can mean because I do think we are almost guaranteed to get birds at this point and I'm gonna go into maybe a little bit of q and I might start asking some people on um, how they feel about this new bat exhibit system because this is most likely how we're gonna get introduced to birds and I think if they make it null to an extent uh, so that we can add a little more variation to make it, you know, some curved and not just square ex walk through exhibits to try to kind of make them curved to an extent. I think that is the way of doing it, but we'll see how much creative freedom we have with the bats. They didn't show it in this trailer, but we, we do have an image of the bats that I showed in my announcement breakdown. And this is just my my teaser trailer breakdown. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We kind of went over some of the new building pieces, just my input on stuff. We saw what foliage we can find, and we got a deeper dive into some of the rocks. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been Old Country, and I hope you're all excited for the this, this new Twilight Pack scenery pack. This could be my new favorite pack. I just love Halloween that much. And um, yeah, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.